Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanolades the Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we're going to start out with some, well, we're going to have entirely exhibition matches today, starting out with a match between Ikens and Adam 2 on Finn's Revenge. So this map is not a map we see very often. It's not super popular, mostly because of these islands in the corner. There's eight metal on each of these islands, like 3.7 on each. Yeah, that's. Well, okay, about seven and a half metal on each island. Hovercraft or Amphib accessible only, pretty much. So, Adam going Hovercraft. Icons going for Amphib, so that all makes sense. That's exactly what you do, because what other choice do you have, really? I mean, when you think about it, it's... I mean, you can go... I've seen a lot of people go light vehicles before on this map, but just those island resources are huge. However, it does take a little while to get there as well, so we'll see if either player does that immediately, and it looks like... Adam, very quickly double-checking to make sure that Icons is not going for this, possibly trying to secure for themselves... I've seen light vehicles using this for a while. When, when it was more popular, it's it's fallen out of favor recently. I'm a bit surprised it's being played right now, but hey, it's not a bad map. It's just not the most popular of maps. Yeah, light vehicles is basically built around a strategy of trying to win quickly. Like scorch rushing, maybe damaging the commander, destroying it that way, and dealing with everything rapidly on this one giant island, rather than going off to the side islands and getting all the resources there. But it is a bit of a handicap. You basically rely on later getting air or gunships and using cranes in order to build in those islands, rather than having the builders to build in those islands immediately. But that's not an issue right now, since Amphib is super popular and Hover is also fairly popular and both are strong in general, and on this map they really shine. But yeah, in general, they're ridiculously strong as it is. I just have to double check if there's any plans for changes. I know the Scalpels had their AoE reduced slightly. Which is good. Well, more so they had their homing ability reduced slightly. So the missiles don't home anywhere near as aggressively as they used to. It helps for light units being able to counter them, but it's still a little bit tricky. They still have to basically be approaching them. So there is a specific tactic to it. And of course, halberds still present a problem in that respect. Though it looks like Adam 2 going entirely for halberds, Icons going purely for ducks. And going for the side attack, actually attack from straight from the back. Fight order into the sea in the back, and then probably going south from there, right into Adam's base. And Adam is not prepared for this. There is one Lotus, and they are building up towards the back, but they have been primarily focusing on reclaim, so at least they don't have a whole lot of energy infrastructure to be damaged. At the same time, they don't have a lot of energy infrastructure, period. Still, they do have a lot of reclaim to work with, so that should be okay. At least for the time being. Still, more energy infrastructure would help them a lot. Ikens is getting ahead in that regard. Ikens, hey, you're building energy! Although I'm sure we'll see the build E at some point in this game. But right now, Ikens is good for energy. Well done! They're learning to build energy. And unfortunately, it looks like Adam did not... Ah, shoot. It looks like Adam did not set that halberd to... Oh. Can't tell anymore. Oops. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It looks like they didn't set it to hold fire. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, that's... Well, that's going to suck for that halberd. Being forced to move away. And the ducks over the north, are they coming down for the attack? No, it looks like they're just exploring. I wonder if they suspect a hidden farm, like a hidden wind farm. Or rather, a tidal farm. Because tidal generators are a thing, and that can be a problem. But it looks like that's not happening. And Ikens now going for the attack, realizing, making sure there is no energy or anything else tricky in the water there. Going for the attack, and Adam should know about it immediately. Yeah, now they're just finding out. No radar either, apparently. And these ducks are, I think, uncontested. Yeah, there's one Lotus, and that's it. Ikens able to get a huge amount of damage here. Should be able to take care of basically everything here. The Lotus is being emergency built. And the ducks, unfortunately, turning on their own. But that's fine. That that duck was, that was that duck was going to betray everyone anyway. It, it was going to kill them all. And here come the scalpels. And this is what I mean by well, actually no, that was targeting the dead one. That's not what I mean by homing. We'll find out what I meant by homing in a moment. And Icons not being aggressive here. They are apparently what are they focusing on? Oh, focusing on attacking the center. If you're going to do this sort of thing, you have to make sure to multitask it out. That's one of the most important parts about this whole strategy. Because these ducks have free reign. The longer Icons takes, the more time that Adam has to build and rebuild and just generally set everything up so that the ducks don't have any time to deal damage. And Adam already accessing on metal. Actually doing just fine for metal, but... Energy? Now they're getting back in. Now production's a problem. These quills, however, are just in position. 
Come on, these quills can just deal with this right now. They can just select to help. Help the hover factory. Ikens has been doing fine for production. Their commander is assisting out. Item, on the other hand, not assisting production at all. Rapidly building up defenses. But that Lotus will kill maybe two or three ducks, and that'll be it. Ah, that's what I meant by homing. There we go. That's the nerf. That's actually pretty significant. I didn't realize how big of a nerf it was. I haven't had a chance to play against Hover too much. And I just heard, oh, hey, homing's no longer as powerful. That seems good. No, it's it's a real nerf. Like, looks like scalpels cannot really hit mobile units. Anything more mobile than a skirmisher, at least. So raiders, yeah. Raiders can now counter scalpels again. Hooray! On the other hand, over the front, Icons. Well, the boys, you know, skirmishing through, just dealing with what they can. This area here, Adam's gonna be... Yeah, they are building a gunship plant here. They've got this set up as a secondary base. They do have their fire base. But their main base is under great threat. Icons, I'm not sure they realize just how powerful it would be to, to just directly assault with the ducks. I mean, at this point, they kind of lost their window. Which sucks, because they had a huge amount of time they could have been dealing with this, and unfortunately didn't manage to take advantage of all of it. Or a lot of it, for that matter. They seem to be stalling a bit. Getting a lot of ducks. 19 ducks, that's pretty good. That's, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm just gonna move this here. Yeah, 19 ducks. Sorry, 17 ducks. But they're probably gonna build several more before it gets up. Big assault coming in here. I mean, that's not... I don't know. What is their deal with that? At this point, Adam doesn't have maces. They don't really have any anti-raider forces. They have scalpels, but like I said before, scalpels do not counter raiders anymore. As we saw, they're actually pretty well countered by raiders now. As they probably should be. I mean, it's raider, skirmisher, riot thing. Yeah, Raiders should counter skirmishers. Scalpels are... Actually, can I get... Yeah, skirmisher. Skirmisher anti-heavy. The boys are actually in a bit of a trickier position in that regard, but they are fine at this point. I haven't taken enough damage for it to be too much of a concern. And, of course, they can deal with the static defenses from a distance. And, like I said, Icons... Sorry, Adam is focusing entirely on gunships. They're basically not focusing at all on their amphibs. Gunships are where it's at for them. And, at the same time, that's the thing. The gunships are where they're focusing, but Icons is attacking so hard in the back here, I don't think Adam's going to have a chance to get out of this. Stardust is... Is it going to get up in time? I don't think so. No, no, it's down. Just barely up, but the boys dealing with it. Pff, two bullets. Two Stardust bullets. All that managed to get out. I don't think it killed anything. And this is... Is this going to be game? I think so. Does Adam have any emergency forces? They have three Banshees. They need to send them out now. Like... Or pretty soon, at least. I mean, okay, let the stack defenses deal with the duck somewhat, and then maybe come in to clean up. Looks like Icons is being rather timid. They could destroy this factory pretty much now. Yeah, that's... That's gonna go down. Just take care of that factory, and that will be... That factory down with the... The gunship factory is still a bit of a problem. Need to take care of that too. And I don't think that Icons is totally aware of this. If they are, which, let's see... No, they're not aware of it. They're aware of the fire base, and they're probably aware that it's likely to be a staging ground. And there's Makey! Icons had so much energy that they forgot to make any more. They've been at 21 energy this entire game. And here's the counterattack. Adam is not down for the count yet. Icons about to lose their commander as well, and... Ooh, this is gonna be quick. And the factor on top of that. Not much to deal with this. The duck's doing what they can, but Icons' commander going down... The burst's not really doing too much for Icon, so that's a bit of a waste of commander explosion. And no anglers in play either. Is there anything? No. No anglers coming up. They're going to rely entirely on ducks. Pretty much relying on being able to deal with Adam's base directly. Okay, Icon's does have the expansion in the northwest, but they're losing a lot of their energy. These banshees in their main base are presenting a massive problem, and they're going to be coming in. Icon's can't deal with this. Here I thought they had it, but nope, those gunships turn it around, and that is apparently game. Icons throws in the towel, and... Sheesh. That was a good assault, though. I think the biggest thing I mentioned before is... That first attack... 
That could have dealt a lot of damage. There was hardly anything in the base to stop it, and Ikens is a little bit too timid. They could have easily destroyed the base in that first duck attack. Or if not destroyed it, at least crippled it to the point that the following duck attacks that came in would have wiped it out without issue. Is that part of the widget? I think that's... That, I don't think Ikens typed that to themselves. I think that's part of the widget. Wow. Ikens is a masochist. Anyhow, that was... That was Ikens and Adam on Finn's Revenge. And... Go gunships, I guess. Always good. Okay, so yeah, Skazi confirming that is indeed Icons Widget. I mean, it makes sense as Icons Widget. It's just, like I said, that's really self well, self defeating. That's really self deprecating. I don't know. Kind of self abusive. Anyway, self abuse aside, let's move on because this game, I think, it was kind of straightforward. Icons did some really did some interesting attacks here. Adam wasn't really producing as much as they should have, and they were left wide open, had their pants down. And Ikens didn't manage to take advantage of that while Adam turned all that metal into a gunship plant and a bunch of banshees, which Ikens was not prepared for. And is it just me, or did nobody build radar? Okay, Adam built radar. I didn't see Ikens build much radar. If they had built a radar right here or something, they would have seen, hey, there's stuff around here. But yeah, lack of knowledge, pretty much on both sides. That was what it was characterized by. Ikens' surprise attack was simply not as effective as Adam's surprise attack, and thus Adam won. Oh, I could check the perforator. That's true. I don't see anything that looks like a radar around here. Yeah, there's nothing that looks like radar here. Radar has a pretty distinctive wreck to it, so it's... I would see it. Like the bottom half... It, this, but it's bottom half. That's what radar looks like. Anyway, that's that game. So let's move on to the next game, which is going to be between two other players whose names are Flipdip and Failthus on Adansonia, the map that I was playing last time against Killer of 007. Let's see how two players who really know what they're doing play rather than two players who are like middling. We'll have that in a couple minutes. So stay tuned.